Hello, good morning, everybody. That chap there, whoa, there's me and there he is. There, that chap there, there he is. Whoa, that is Phil. Me and Phil are here at Hampton. We're in Hampton Car Park, there's Hampton Pier. And this is near Herne Bay. And behind me here is my sib. I haven't had it out for a while. Now, I'm no expert at sib fishing or fishing for my boat at all. But we're gonna go out today, we're gonna find some marks on Navionics because I haven't got my fish finder up and running yet. And we're just gonna see if we can drift fish for some rays, maybe a smooth hound. See what else is about. So let's get this all set up to go. Get out in the sea. So we've got it set up. Here it is here. We're gonna get it down to the water now. It's taken 10 15 minutes. 10 15 minutes. Which is so much nicer with a boat trailer. Um, and I'm surprised actually Hampton Car Park is absolutely empty today and it's a bank holiday Monday. But there's a couple of kayaks out on the water. The water is pretty much like a mill pond. So let's get out there and see if we can get some rays, smooth downs, whatever. Let's go. Well, get in in a minute, mate. Hold on. Probably get there. Do I get my feet? No, so if you get in. You're going to pull me in? Yeah, I'll pull you. You want to sit at the front, though? Yeah, alright. Well, sit on the, sit on the bench. Sit in. Onwards, driver, onwards! Oh, oh, that's oh, that's coming. <laughs> Quick bit. Come on, Betty, come. There you go. Up. Right. Yeah, alright. I think got a little bit wet, but apart from that, I'm alright. Yeah. Better than having wellies on, though, mate. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> Look at this, the clarity, mate. If it's like that out there, we're gonna. Should have bought some lures. Very silly of me. What did I say? Should have bought some lures, mate. Okay, okay I we're didn't. We can live bait if we get some. Right, anyway, this is very clear. Wow. You enjoying yourself there? Yeah. I think it's time for me to get in, isn't it? Windswept. Um, <laughs> That's good, eh? Yeah. It's, it is lovely out here. It is like a sheet of glass. I mean, perfect. Now, what I've done is I've come out probably two miles offshore to a mark on Navionics that's showing a bit, a bit of a deeper bit of water um, on the relief shave it shading it's yellow and not red so it's not massively deep but there's a little bit of a trough running through here so i'm just going to see what the drift is and how fast it is we're going to set the rods up and then put some baits down see if we get anything now the camera's rolling no, less no. of the swearing all right <laughs> i won't repeat what you said don't worry <laughs> right that's clipped on there mate we get a lead weight on that yeah and it's just basically like a running, le running ledger Mm -hmm. um, without a boom on there. So, just holding the hooks. Just holding the hooks. I haven't got any flat leads, but we're going to drop down one of these without the gripper on. I need to buy some leads. There we go. And voila. Yeah, voila. You're ready to go, mate. You just need to put some fish on it. We might as well put that on there. Yeah. Yeah. And there's some scissors. And there is some bait elastic, mate. Yeah. There we go, ready to go, yeah? Yeah. 
So, decide what you want to put on. I'll put this beast on. Okay, Herm Bay, if you catch something on that at this time of year. I mean, there's a chance. I think some people have said that there's taupe beer in later on, yeah. August, September. But no, not now, mate. Not now. I wouldn't touch that. Oh, yeah. So this is basically um, running leisure rigs. Um, I am no boat fisherman. I do not know this at all. You are on the journey with me. I'm learning as I go. What's in here? So I am Ooh. basically, if anyone's got any ideas, then please tell me because uh, you don't know what you're doing. Because I don't know what I'm doing, yeah. So, right, I'm going to put that on the eye. There. Right, we're here. We are here, and basically, here we go. We're just dropping down a bit of bluey bait here. First, first drift. I don't know how deep it is. Let's see how deep it is here. It's not that deep. I would say it's about eight meters, maybe. Would you about that? I would. So let a little bit more out. Yeah, a little bit more out, and then let's just see. That's and now we should. So we're drifting this way. That's it. I do. Yeah, I do. So all that is you feeling the bottom, I think. Yeah. I didn't know if you got bite. Oh, you know. Here you go, bang, bang, bang. Let's find out in a minute. Now I'm thinking, as we're targeting rays, we're doing about one knot drift, so that's quite slow. So I would have thought that's quite a good speed for rays, as they're not the most agile of fish creatures. It is silent out here. So there we go. <laughs> the first thing on my hook is this brittle star. A big one actually, bigger ones I've ever found on the shore. So I want to be careful with him because he's brittle. There he is. Look at him. Very weird things turn him over. There's his top. Snaking around. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. There he swims. So we've been drifting this spot for, well we drifted over it, a large long trough for about 20-25 um, minutes. It's a slow drift so hoping Ray's will pick up the bait but nothing about, nothing happening. So I think we might go inshore, find somewhere shallower, see if the rays are uh, in the shallower water. But it's that fish finder, so not going. It's sort of uh, very hit and miss, but it is stunning out here. Hey, what have you got? Oh, just as we're about to move, Bill, got the first fish. A doggy, bring him to me, mate, we'll get him up. Only a little one, but fish is a fish, mate. Yeah. Well Good done. Blank. First one on the boat. First one on the boat. Well done, mate. Fish is a fish. Mm -hmm. Right, he's a little one, isn't he? Yeah. They need to go back. Let's get him back in a minute. <laughs> so, 
So we're <laughs> inshore a bit now. We're gonna drift this area for a couple of drifts. See if there's anything about here. So I'm gonna rebate. The side still? Yeah, that's um, probably the other side, mate. Because the drift is going west. Well, just put it over there and see which way your line goes, mate. But I think that's the drift. So, I'm new to this. This is all new to me. I've decided that I'm thinking the drift is too fast. So what I've done, we've done, feels with me, he's just doing what I'm doing. We've come back out to the mark. We first tried where you got a dogfish. Um, there's a bit of depth here. So I've dropped the anchor now. And we're gonna fish an anchor to see if we can uh, get any fish. So I'm going to get my bait down, which is going to be a bit of sardine, just on a one one hook um, running ledger. See if we can get anything. Let's go. Phil's got something. Maybe just tighten that drag a little bit, just a little bit, mate. What have we got coming up here? Oh, well, you found hooked a dogfish. That's why it felt bigger. But that's what you've got, mate. That's, uh... <laughs> Bring him to me, I'll get him in, mate. He's trying to get away. He's trying his best, isn't he? There he is. Oh, they count, mate. No, they all count. Oof, right in the belly. Do you want to keep him? No, I'm right. No, you're all right. No, do you want to? Oh, you little monkey. <laughs> well, there we go, mate. You've had two of these now. Yeah. Do you want to hold him? Yeah, it's all right. You're all right. Okay, right, well, let's get him back. Oh, I missed him. Yeah, I'm a did you stand? I did. Oh, missed him. Missed him. There's a dogfish. Okay. Yeah, I got a bigger bait. My hook might be too big. I think I've got something here, maybe. Yeah, we've got something on here, have we? What have we got? Ah, oh, this is what it is down there. Whiting. It is whiting. Pick, 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 pick. That's what we've got. <laughs> so, down there, we've got a nice big shoulder whiting. Getting them on a 6 0. Not ideal, but we've hooked one. Now, I'd, uh, there's loads of bass here. Well, if I knew there'd be loads of bass here, I'd put them down as live bait, but um, I'm not I'm going to let him go to fight another day. There he goes. So, we are getting bites, but. I think it's whiting. They seem to have, maybe the shoals moved on, but, um, but Phil's just had um, a couple of knocks. Um, we're not gonna stay out here much longer because um, I've got places to be and things to do this evening. So I've got to get back, but um, we still got like half an hour or so. It's been good to be out on the boat and 
start to get to grips with it properly. And next time uh, I'm gonna go somewhere different and try something different with it. Have you got one? Who knows? He might have a fish here. Looks like it. He has. Oh, a decent sized whitey, mate. Look at that. Look at that. On cue. It's got a big white, mate. Yeah. Big enough hook. Well, yeah, because we're not targeting white, mate. Oh, we're not? Well, you might be. Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> let's go for it. Well done, mate. Chuck her back. Yeah, put it back. There it goes. Down it went. Well done, Phil. Fit good and I, me. Better than me. Anyway, let's see how we go for the last bit of this session. Yeah, it's white out, right? Oh, that was a good bite. Have I got one here? Have I got one here? Oh, I think I've got one, mate. Yeah. Think I've got a white in. Think about a white in for my teeth. The greedy little monkey. There we go, another white in. If I had the right rigs, we'd be bagging up on these because I like whiting. Oh, has Phil got one as well? Looks like it. Right, let's get him back. There's Phil with his whiting. Well done, mate. I might have one on here. I'll bring it in. Can I have one more drop, please? You want one more drop? Yeah, okay. Got one, mate. I think, one, I think I might have. Oh, I think it come off. Yeah, one more drop. Is that what you want? Yeah. All right. in now um, we buzzed back in nothing much more um, there was a lot of whiting down there but we had bigger hooks and we weren't really going for whiting so um, we couldn't hook a lot of them but um, back now it's taking 10 minutes to get the stuff on the trailer there's the boat all on the trailer we're gonna get that hitched up now onto the car and go maybe my next session will be from the shore but I'm definitely gonna get used to this sib this year do a lot more sib fishing as well Anyway, till next time, tight lines.